Hi friends, today I'm picking an Abus uh, Hero Challenge Log I got from Potty314. Uh, big thanks to Potty for sending me these nice logs. Uh, here's the key, and uh, it's, it has uh, one modified side and one normal side. And clearly, we will pick the modified side. I can open this uh, right way around, but it's really a pain for me, so I will do it this way. No, tension from the bottom. No, let's uh, first try the key. The oh, key is working. Not a crazy bidding, but... Uh, it's nice. I've uh, opened this lock uh, three or four times before I'm using a shallow hook. And I already noticed that uh, pin one is very, very high and probably it is a spool. It's not that easy to set. And very curious what's inside and we will do a cutting later. And here pin one is set. No and pin two. It feels the same. Oh, little fault set. So there are more spools inside. Pin one falls down sometimes. And here is another spool in the back. And, and another one. Mm. Now the lock feels pretty dead. I uh, might have not set one pin correctly. So I'm touching all the pins. Try to to set or loosen the pin. And here we go, a slight turn. Yeah, and that's it. <laughs> Not that hard, but a lot of fun picking. So now uh, let's cut. <coughs> I've prepared my little pin tray here. First let's get a, a clip off, that's a burst clip, I don't like these burst clips. Um, they bend pretty easily and uh, we are, they uh, we are off with the time. Yeah. <laughs> and the core is hanging on the shoe. Yeah. But all, all went nice. I can see uh, no feddings on the core. Yeah, the pinning shoe holds all the pins safe in place. And now let's put in the, the pinning tool. And if you have trouble to rotate it, just uh, press the pins down with a tension wrench. And Oh, 
pretty strong springs inside, or pretty long springs. Yeah, position number one is a spool, as I thought. Uh, the same on position number two. My tweezers are not that great, so uh, I lose the pins sometimes. Uh, that's the third pin. It actually has a little uh, flattened top or, the, or polished top. Uh, it was a little mistake not to take the springs out, but I try at least uh, to work around a little bit. And here's the fourth pin, another spool. last driver and this is uh, somewhat in between a, a spool or a deep serrated very nice work I will show uh, you a close up later and here you can see the springs were very long and um, if you do the gutting uh, with this tool you should take them out and let's see the key pins and that's a normal pin in position number one, normal in two, normal in three, and in four, same. And uh, key pin number five is actually a little bit thinned down on the top. There are some slight serration marks on the key pins, but uh, they don't come into play, we are too slight, no, no fitting in the core. Uh, but now I will take the springs out to have a look at the Bible. same, all five, uh, nice and long. Mm, I already saw that uh, there is some threading in chamber number three. <coughs> and here you can see all pins in close up. Very nice work on driver number five yeah. and you can see the slight serrations on some of the key pins um, but we really don't matter Thank you to Dr. V. Your locks arrived today safely. So thank you for a little trade. And thanks for watching all and see you next time.